Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really great day trading today. So today was Monday, April 1st, and we did open SPY with a small gap up today. We opened just a little bit under all-time highs, and the first few candles were an attempt to get near all-time highs, but we started to lose strength, and we got back underneath the 35 EMA, which we did close under last Thursday. So once we got back under the 35 EMA, let me just zoom in a little bit closer here. You could see that we popped back up and that 35 EMA was our resistance. You could see resistance in Stupid Willy right here. We opened underneath and trying to get up, we did get rejected at the signal line. And from there, we dropped. We got down to the five minute 200 moving average right here and keep an eye on this 35 EMA because as we come back up, that level does push us back down. And this other dotted line right here is the 35 EMA on the 30 minute time frame. So we had the five minute 35 EMA and the 30 minute 35 EMA right there. That is exactly where we got pushed back down. And just after that, you could see the 35 EMA cross underneath the five minute 200 moving average. So we went with from a neutral open to a bearish setup towards the end of the day there. And we did try to get back above. We did see that little pop into close today but the 35 EMA still closed bearishly. And right here, you could see that 30 minute 35 EMA. If I switch to that time frame, you could see that once we did drop underneath, that was our resistance right there. And even in that last candle, we did try and get above and that price got pulled back down. You can see that long wick in that last candle on the 30 minute time frame. So we got a bearish close on the five minute time frame, neutral close on the 30 minute. SPY did close down 0.17%. VIX closed up 5.08% and VIX was elevated all day. And we did trade completely within the implied move today. And a quick switch over to SPX. I don't believe there was anything different here. Yeah, we pretty much had the same day in SPX. So switching over to QQQ, this is the second day in a row in QQQ that we've seen almost the same play. Last Thursday, we did see a open at the very top of the trading range and it wasn't immediate we didn't open at the top we opened right above the five minute 200 moving average the 35 ema and the 30 minute 35 ema we gapped over those levels and then that first candle we saw a push up that second candle took us all the way to the top of the implied move. So that was within the first 10 minutes we made that huge move up. And in last night's video, I did mention this level of 447, which we have seen as a resistance level in the past two weeks. Basically, after we had March FOMC, that big pop up, and then the following day with that gap up to where we made those all-time highs, we came back down the next week and then 447 level right here has been a resistance. And we saw that again today as we got pushed back down back underneath the 35 EMA on both time frames and the five minute 200 moving average. We did get a little push up into close and it's so funny you can actually see it right here this is the day i was referring to gap up drop and then trade sideways with a little push into close pretty much exactly the same day here and if we switch over to the 30 minute time frame we had a very similar price action to spy with that 35 ema being resistance once we got underneath it all right qqq did close up 0.21%. VXN closed up 5.4%, which is interesting that we closed green and had VXN come up 5%. And we did also here stay completely within the implied move. All right, guys, let me know in the comments how you did today and let's go check out tomorrow's levels.
All right, guys, so before we head into tomorrow's trading ranges, if you find these videos useful and you love that I break it down every night, then please make sure to give this video a like and also make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss these videos when I do put them out. And a quick answer to a question I've been getting a lot lately. No, I do not have a Discord. I will probably never have a Discord. I just don't care for the platform at all but I do post intraday charts both on stock twits and Twitter. So you can reach out to me during the day out there if you need any help. All right, so starting in SPY, tomorrow's implied move is between 519 and 524. That is from options. The 30 day average volatility is a little bit wider, 519 to 526. And tomorrow's trading range is not necessarily very difficult. We have the 30 minute 35 EMA right in the middle of the trading range. That is That was today's resistance. And if we do break above that and maybe see that as a support, then I would start looking to all time highs. That's around 524. All time highs are actually at 524.61. And then the top of the implied move is at 524. And if it does continue to act as resistance tomorrow, then there is a small support right here at 521. That was at today's lows. And then underneath that, the bottom of the implied move is at 519. And that is also the top of the up gap from last Tuesday going into Wednesday. We gapped up and then came back into the gap about halfway and then that was right around 519. And then underneath tomorrow's trading range, we do have the 30 minute 200 moving average. That level has been catching us all year for the entire first quarter, basically since the second week of January. So a really important level to hold. And if that level breaks, then in the next couple days, I would be looking towards that one hour 200 moving average, which is currently, I'd say around 514, 515. So that is SPY switching over to QQQ. Tomorrow's implied move and 30 day average volatility are in alignment again. We do have the trading range between 441 and 448. And to the upside, the first level to look for is going to be the 447 level that we saw as resistance today. It was also the top of the implied move today, but we got up to 447, which was prior resistance in two spots right here. And as soon as we got up to that level, we dropped. So 447 near the top of the implied move. And then the top of the implied move is at 448. And just above tomorrow's trading range, a little bit outside of it, we do have all time highs at 449.34. And then to the downside, we do have the 35 EMA. This is on the 30 minute time frame. We did pop above it at close today, but for most of the day, it was resistance. So, first things first, see how this level reacts because it may be a support and it may be a resistance if we drop underneath it and we see it as resistance then we did see a little support here that's at 443 that was really more like today's lows it wasn't necessarily a support but i would definitely have 443 on your chart underneath that we have the bottom of the implied move 441 and that also has the 30 minute 200 moving average which has completely gone flat. It is momentumless. And underneath it, we do have the one hour 200 moving average, which still is facing up. So if that 30 minute 200 doesn't hold, then I would think this would at least stop it a little bit if we do drop. So that is QQQ and then SPX, tomorrow's trading range over here, we have an implied move of 52.15 and 52.70, that is from options, and the 30-day average volatility a little bit wider, 52.02. Let's actually change that to 5200. Didn't round that one right. And then to 52.85 and to the upside. And actually, let's just start with the 35 EMA. 
30 minute time frame right here that is just a little bit underneath us. I'm gonna say it's right in the middle. I think no matter what, that's gonna be the first level to look for. But if we do get above it, then we do have all time highs, 52, 64, 85. And just above that, the top of the implied move is at 52, 70. And of course, above that, uncharted territory. And then if this 35 EMA does break, and maybe we see it as resistance, then we do have yesterday's lows, 52.30. Underneath that, we have the bottom of the implied move, 52.15. And then we have the up gap from last Tuesday going into Wednesday. The top of that is just underneath the implied move at 52.14. And then the bottom of that gap is just above 5200 so really just at the bottom of tomorrow's trading range and then we have the 30 minute 200 moving average which has been our support all year is at the bottom of the trading range tomorrow so there you have it guys tomorrow's trading ranges look like a lot of fun have fun trade safe make sure you take profits when you're up 